Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we would be learning about the QQ plot which is basically the quantile quantile plot. Now QQ plots are plots of two quantiles against each other. A quantile is basically a fraction where certain values fall below that quantile For example, the median is a quantile where 50% of the data falls above it and 50% of the data falls below it. So it basically divides the data into two equal halves. The basic purpose of the QQ plots is to find out if the two sets of data come from the same distribution. A 45 degree angle is plotted on the QQ plot. If the two data sets come from a common distribution, the points will fall on that reference line. A QQ plot is someone like is something like this. So and this is a 45 degree reference line. And say on the y axis we have exponential data quantiles, and on the x axis we have normal theoretical quantiles. Then let me do the points with another color. So say if all the points fall on this line, then both the samples come from the same distribution. Or if say they don't fall on this line, say I'll do it with green. Think I if you get the points like this, think that you get the points like this, then the two distributions, the two samples do not follow the same distribution. Now there is a significance of the assumption of normality for QQ plots. The assumption of normality is an important assumption for many statistical tests. You assume you are sampling from a normally distributed population. The normal QQ plot is one way to assess normality. However, you don't have to use a normal distribution as a comparison for your data. You can use any continuous distribution as comparison as long as you can calculate the quantiles. In fact, a common procedure is to test out several different distributions with the QQ plot to see if one fits your data well. Thank you for watching the video.